All right, guys, I got something fun and new here to show you, and it is the Park Zone Archer. All right, guys, so this is what it looks like inside the box. As you can see, everything is packed in there very neatly and nicely. And it arrived in good condition, at least as far as I could tell. And let's take it out and confirm that. Alright, so here's a look at the pieces outside the box. As you can probably tell, this is going to be a relatively simple build. Right down here, you've got the fuselage. And off to the side, you've got the battery and charger. Note that this battery is different than the other Park Zone Park Flyers that you may have experienced if, you've, if you're not new to the hobby. And over here is a little accessory pack along with the main landing gear off to the side. Here's the main wing. See those servo leads there. And just below it, we've got the horizontal stabilizer. Okay, so the first part of the build is complete. And I must say that it was a pain in the ass. So the first thing you had to do was jerry-rig this in there using the wing, the horizontal stabilizer, to wiggle that control horn onto that uh, piece of metal whatever the hell you want to call it. Alright, so the second part was you had to disconnect that from the control horn so you could move the rudder far enough to the side to attempt to screw that in there. Now, I've got it in as tight as it can go. As you can see there, the thing that it screws into has started to come up a little bit, yet there's still a nice big gap right there okay uh, I suppose it's better than tape but I think I'm probably gonna add some tape to this plastic piece here because if I screw it any tighter it is gonna snap and as Chuck T seeker always says just make sure it's not over tightened just tight enough Hell, I can't remember exactly what Chuck says. Anyhow, so that concludes this part. All right, so the main wing and the landing gear on the main wing was super simple. I mean, it was easy. So really, all you need to do is screw in three screws and you're done. And if you take some of the advice that I mentioned regarding the tail section there that troublesome tail section you should be okay and actually upon further review I'm not sure I even need to add tape or anything like that if I add anything it may be Loctite but that's another talk show for another day uh, right now I'm just checking it out you can see that there's great scale detailing see the pilot in there he actually looks like a real dude and you can see the cabin of the plane too so looks nice it's really kind of a cool size too it's a size in between you know your T28 park flyer and really your T28 ultra micro and the other ultra micros so I'm really curious to see how this thing flies but before we do that, we're going to bind it, and we're going to see how this baby sounds.
All right, so here we go for a little motor test. All right, I think that was good enough. All right, so here is a look inside the canopy. Right there under that clump of wires. And yes, I do still have that bind plug in there, which I should probably take out. But I'm not going to worry about that right now. Here is where the battery goes. I'll zoom out just a little bit so you can get a perspective on that. Now, this little Velcro strap is how you secure it. I'm not sure why they didn't put it in the middle of this little section here. Is it? It took me a couple minutes just to get that feeling somewhat secure. You'll see that it fits in this little square, which is why you've got to have this little battery right here. Now, another important thing to point out is that since this battery is different, it's a two cell, it's the EC2. It's not the EC3, so this is very small in comparison to what some of you may be used to which is fine, whatever, you'll get some batteries like this, or there are people who clip them off, clip this off, put on a Deans, whatever you want to do. Um, and the ESC is just kind of floating in here. I'm not sure what that's all about, but I didn't pay very much for this plane. Horizon had a big sale. I take advantage, so I'm not going to complain. All right. Oh, one other very important thing that I nearly had. Well, let's just put it this way. I was very upset for a little bit because I thought, okay, this little hatch switch, when I pulled down on it, it's not doing anything. Well, I realized that if you use it like that, it's not going to be 100%, but if you push down like that, pretty much 100%. I couldn't get the canopy off. It freaked me out, and I was not in a good mood. But then cooler heads prevailed, and now I'm happy again, because this is a damn cool to complain, and one that I cannot wait for good weather to come, so I can fly it. Alright, so here are the details on this plane, we've got the motor, ESC, and receiver numbers, specifications. For you folks that uh, have to know what all that stuff is and plan if you're going to upgrade from the current situation to something else. Again, we've got that battery with a very unique situation, at least for a park zone plane. And there you have it.